Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. I'm about to show you how to watercolor using rubber stamps and markers. It's quick, it's easy, it's fun, it's great for all ages. Try it, you are going to love it. Hi, I'm Bonnie Krebs and I'm going to show you how to watercolor using rubber stamps. This uh, little flower pot that we're going to do is kind of an introductory project. It's really simple. It's a great way to start out learning how to do this technique. So I'm going to start out by coloring the back of this pot and I'm going to use this number 45 marker. And I'm just going to ink the back of it like this. And once I got the color on there, I'm going to stamp it onto my watercolor paper. It's really important that you use watercolor paper, not cardstock. Okay, now that I've got it stamped on there, I'm going to take a brush and I've dipped it in water and I'm going to pinch off all the excess water. And I'm just going to take my brush and just pull the color out of the lines like this. Just follow along the lines and just kind of drag the color out. Okay, that's all I have to do on that. Now if I want to add color to this pot, I'm going to do it from my palette. And on my palette, I've drawn on some color here. This is a number 17 blue that I've just colored onto my palette and a number 86. And I'm just going to take my brush and dip it in water and brush on a little bit of color onto this pot. And I don't need to color in every area. Just get a little bit on here. And now if I want to add any more embellishment to this, I can use this darker color and I can add a little bit of detail. And that's all really I need to do. I don't need to do much else with this. So now I have my pot painted. I'm going to take a little mask. This is just a sticky note. It works really good. And I want to protect this pot now because I'm going to stamp my flowers and foliage in here. And I don't want to stamp over the top of this. So I'm just going to cover my pot like this. Now I'm going to take my jumbo grass and I'm going to ink the back of this using a number 15. Just going to get the color on there. And then I'm going to stamp this grass into the pot. This technique just mostly consists of stamping and adding water. That's about all there is to it. And that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to add water now and soften these lines. So now I have my grass inside my pot. Now I'm going to go on to the next step and add some flowers. This little stamp. And I think I'll pick a bright color. This is a bright magenta. And I'm just going to stamp this in here. I'm going to dip my brush in water, pinch it off, and I'm going to lightly just soften these lines. Okay, you can see how this is kind of coming together now. Pick another color now. This is a bright, brilliant yellow, and I want to make sure I clean my stamp off really well before I go on to the next color. And that just means using a little bit of water and just cleaning the rubber off. So now I'm going to ink this up. Get this yellow flowers on here. And again, Dip my brush, pinch off the excess, and just soften these colors. Okay, now let's move on to the next step. Let's add a vine in here now. This is our little watercolor vine, and I'm just going to ink it up and add some foliage in here now. wherever you want to stamp it. It's kind of like flower arranging. You can just ink these vines wherever you want to put them. The neat thing about using a rubber stamp is that you can just use small parts of it. You don't need to use the entire thing. That's what makes this look like a painting and not a rubber stamp. 
So now I've got my foliage in, and I'm just going to dab at this and soften this all up. Just a real small amount of water. Just slightly dab at this. Okay, now we can add something, maybe something tall back in here. So I'm going to use my mask again, just to protect my flowers. And I'm going to use this tall foliage to put in the back, this tall grass. And I'm going to use my number 45 again, ink this up, and stamp this in the back. And just add water. So easy to do. Okay, now I think I'll add some little wildflowers in here. This is a little wildflower stamp. This is another way to use this. Um, this is what I mean by just inking small areas. I don't have to ink this whole stamp. If I were to stamp this in here, it might be too much. So I'm just going to ink a couple of these little flowers at a time. Just stamp these in here, just one at a time. wherever I want to put them. Every time you do these, they turn out a little bit different. That's what's so much fun about doing these projects. They're so easy and quick. And people just love getting things that are handmade like this. Okay, now I'm going to use my brush again, and I'm just going to barely dab at these, just, just to soften the lines. So it doesn't, you know, if you don't get these stamped exactly right, exactly even, it doesn't matter because you're going to add a little bit of water and you're not going to be able to tell. And actually the flowers shouldn't be so perfectly formed anyway. So don't worry about getting these all exactly perfect. It doesn't matter. Okay, now we can finish this up with uh, some little grass at the bottom. This is our little tiny grass. This is one of our most popular stamps and one of our least expensive stamps, so that's a good thing. This kind of completes all the projects, and actually the more videos that you watch, the more times you'll see this little stamp used over and over and over again. Stamp that on here. And I'm just going to add water. And again, don't be afraid to go outside of the lines. I just ink that right up there. Like that. And I can add a little bit more green to that if I want to, just off of my palette. Just add a little bit in here like this. And there we are. Almost finished. And don't forget to sign. This is your own artwork, your own creative work, and you want to make sure that you always include your signature on here. And there you have it. Try it. You are going to love this technique. To order Art Impressions rubber stamps, instructional booklets, and watercolor accessories, visit our website, artimpressions.com, shop our store. AI stamps are available mounted on wood or unmounted on clean cushion for use with acrylic mounts.